Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to download Minecraft Mods and Minecraft Forge for both Windows and Mac. The first time I tried to download mods, all of the videos were super complicated and difficult, so I'm going to try and make this as easy as possible. The first step is to open Minecraft. Then you're going to go to Launch Options, Add New, and open the release in which the mod uses. So if the mod uses version 1.7.10, you're going to select 1.7.10. I'm going to be using 1.7.10 for the purpose of this video. And then I'm going to name it mod version, I guess. Now, I should mention that most of the mods use either 1.6.4, 1.7.10, or 1.7.2. Then what I'm going to do is go to News, select this arrow, and select the version that you just um, put. Now once you have it open, the version was downloaded, and you can just exit out of it. Now the next step is downloading Minecraft Forge. So to do so, you're going to open your web browser. You're going to search up Minecraft Forge, and you're going to select the files.minecraftforge.net. Then you'll see all of the Minecraft versions on the left. You're going to click the version that you want to download. On Windows, you're going to select Windows Installer. On Mac, you're going to select Installer. I'm going to download the recommended because it'll probably work better for my computer. Now I have to pause my ad block. And I'm going to hit refresh. Now, for this page, when it pops up, you don't want to click on anything besides skip on the top right. Once it pops up, you're going to hit skip, and then it's going to download. Now, you're going to drag it to the desktop, and this next step is only for Mac users. When you try to open it, it might say, can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. You're going to hit OK. You're going to go to the top left of your screen where the Apple logo select system preferences, select security and privacy, and click open anyway. Now you don't always want to do this for all downloads. I trust Minecraft Forge because I've used it for years and it hasn't downloaded any viruses, but for other downloads I can't I can't like say for you that it's not going to download malware on your computer, but I trust Minecraft Forge so I can just trust it. Now it's going to pop up with this. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to download it to my library. If you want to download it somewhere else, you hit these three buttons, but I doubt you'll want to do so. Then you'll hit OK, and it'll start downloading. Once it has successfully installed, you can exit out of everything, open up Minecraft, go to Launch Options, Add New, or you don't necessarily have to do this. It'll already pop up um, as Forge. If you want to rename it, you could go to Launch Options and rename it. Then you're going to open it up. Now, if there's any problems with the download, this is where the Minecraft would crash. But it doesn't seem that there are any problems yet, so I'm going to let it download. Now, you'll see that your, at least your folder, will have three mods loaded. And if you go to Mods, you won't see the Minimap one, but you'll see Minecraft Forge, Mod Loader, and Coder Pack. Now you can't really do anything with these mods just yet. So if you were just looking to download Minecraft Forge, the video really ends here, but part two will be showing how to download Minecraft mods. So the first step to this is going to your web browser. You're gonna type in the version of Minecraft Forge that you downloaded, and you're gonna search up the mod that you want to download. Now I want to download the Minimap mod. So I'm gonna search up 1.7.10 Minimaps, and I'm going to go to the website and download it from wherever. You scroll all the way to the bottom, find 1.7.10, and download it. Now for the purpose of this video, I already have the mod downloaded over here. So I'm just going to exit out of this. Then the next step is actually different on Windows and Mac. I'm going to begin with Windows. At the very bottom left of your screen, you should have the Windows logo. You click on it, search percent app data percent, click on application support, and then Minecraft. 
Now for Mac, you're going to select go, go to folder, and you're going to type in this right here. I will have that in the description so you can copy and paste it. Now, once you have Minecraft open, you'll notice that you have a mods folder. You're going to open it and you're going to drag in the mod. Now, I already have it dragged in, so I'm just going to keep it as it is. Once you have this done, you can exit out of the mods folder. You can open up Minecraft and open up Minecraft Forge 1.7.10 or whatever version that you downloaded. Now, if there's anything wrong with the mod downloading process or Minecraft Forge, Minecraft would have crashed by now, or sometimes it crashes while you're trying to open up a world. But now, if you go to the mods, if you did it correctly, you'll see that you have the mod downloaded right there under all of the other ones. So now you have Coder Pack, Mod Loader, Forge, and whatever mod that you downloaded. So just to show you guys that mine worked, I'm going to go to Single Player. I'm going to create a new world. I'm going to label it mod test. I'm going to make it creative and I'm going to create the new world. Hopefully it won't crash on me. If it doesn't, then I'll know that I downloaded it right. So as you guys can see, I have downloaded it right. The mini map is in my top right corner. And for this specific mod, all it comes up with is the mini map. And if you guys have any problems with the downloading process, you can leave a comment down below. I'll try my best to respond. And if this ended up working for you, please leave a like, comment down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed.